It looks like the top of the world, where the land and the sky come together to form a majestic landscape. This is Niwot Ridge, a 12,000 foot peak in Boulder County, where scientists study climate change, where our future, for good or bad, becomes a little more clear. It's where Jennifer Morris, a CU researcher, collects air samples that show CO2 levels have gone up steadily for decades. Since more CO2 and other greenhouse gases warm the Earth, that is not good news. Down in Boulder at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, Dave Gotchis uses similar research to figure out what impact all this will have on the snow sports industry. The challenges that we have are potentially disastrous um, unless we plan for them. Gotcha says climate warming most likely will result in faster snowmelt, less snowfall, more rain on snow, potentially shorter seasons for snow sports and less snowpack at lower levels. We're signed up for a good amount of, of change already and we need to um, not just sort of, you know, the proverbial put, bury your head in the sand and, and just hope for the best. We actually need to start planning and working for the best. At many ski resorts in Colorado and around the country, planning for the future is well underway. More powerful snowmaking and automated grooming may help get snow on the slope sooner and keep it longer. But according to the National Ski Areas Association, the real focus is on slowing or reversing climate change before it's too late. We have got to really stay focused on the bigger picture, which is lowering carbon emissions and really listening to the science and responding to the urgency in it. Adrian Isaac says that resorts are involved in a sustainable slopes program, working toward renewable energy, zero net operating footprints and new technologies. But she says it's gonna be up to everyone to fight climate change if they wanna keep enjoying snow sports as we know it now in the future.